Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the new legends that we do have coming out in the game tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. We also do have the LTD Eli Manning which as well is going to be dropping tomorrow and I've also got my Mutt rewards to go with you guys and hopefully pull something pretty good. And of course if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys drop a like on the vid and of course hit that sub button down below and check out all my videos that I post throughout the day. I did a Steve Young gameplay, did a bunch of other stuff. Definitely check it out and once that morning video gets to 2500 likes, if it does, I'll drop a Super Bowl bundle for you guys tomorrow. But as you guys can see we do have tomorrow morning a legend Von Miller coming into the game. So Von Miller is coming with 87 speed, 88 excel, 83 strength, 90 tackling, 96 play rec, 91 block shooting, 94 power move, and an 88 finesse move. I will say this. I am a little bit disappointed because I'm going to be honest here. I kind of expected Von to get a 96 at least, uh, or a 97 overall, potentially a Super Bowl, some type of master. It looks like they may not have like a bunch of Super Bowl pass players and instead they just wanted to kind of add it in uh, as legend players. And you guys will see that by the other player as well. But Von Miller's stats overall are, you know, overall they're, they're pretty solid. And of course, if you guys know me, you do know that I have Von Miller on my team and I've had him on my team for a long time. I do want to compare him though, of course, to uh, Khalil Mack because obviously it's one of the biggest comparisons of the game. Khalil Mack's got 87 speed with 88 acceleration, literally the same exact speed and excel as Von Miller. 83 strength with a 90 tackling compared to Khalil Mack who's actually got an 88 strength with an 89 tackling. Now, of course, Mack has got a block shit of 91 with a 94 power move. Literally the same exact stats as Von Miller. So the speed, the excel, the block shed, the power move are literally all the same. Those are some of the most important stats when it actually comes to a pass rusher. And of course, the finesse move is an 88, and Khalil Mack has actually got a 90 when it comes to that. So honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed in the fact that I have been holding on to this card all year expecting him to get a better card than Khalil Mack because Mack, of course, got, you know, the Ghost of Madden cards, whatever. In terms of, like, the pricing, is he going to be cheaper than Khalil Mack? Yeah, he'll probably be cheaper than Khalil Mack because he is, of course, a set. Uh, but still, I'm a little bit disappointed. I can't lie. I am definitely a little bit disappointed. But in terms of, like, the cheapness of him, yes, he is going to be cheaper than Mack. And I will say as well, we don't know the LTD legend, but we do know that the uh, career tribute Eli Manning will be dropping tomorrow as well, and there probably will be an LTD legend. Von Miller, though... I'm happy. He finally got an upgrade. I can finally get that up for my team. But it's like almost the same exact card as Khalil Mack. And we also are getting Aaron Rodgers tomorrow. So yes, Rodgers is finally getting an upgrade to 95. One key mistake I've been seeing a ton of people make when it comes to Aaron Rodgers. A lot of people like preparing for him to actually get this upgrade. Do not buy the LTD Team of the Week or the Series Redux card. That does not go into the Power Up set. If you guys want to get this Aaron Rodgers, you'll need the Ultimate Kickoff card. The not even overall Ultimate Kickoff. That's the last card that actually goes into his Power Up set. But this 95 Rodgers, of course, he will be able to get a Skate Artist powered up. So you have to power him up. 95 throw power, 96 short, 88 medium, 92 deep with a 90 play action, 94 throw on the run, and 88 throw under pressure. Overall, it's pretty solid. I'm not really sure why they decided to tank his throw medium for some reason down to an 88 and a short and his deep or way higher and his throw power is good but overall you know it's it's a pretty solid card it's definitely a pretty solid card however you know we have Patrick Mahomes in the game we just got a new Steve Young in the game there's a lot of really good QBs and this card doesn't really stand out to me it's not like Aaron Rodgers got 95 medium 95 deep 96 short like everything the same just his throwing stats are better and he gets escape artist then we could potentially be talking this card a little bit differently, but he's just barely making over the edge of Escape Artist. When he's powered up, of course, you have to power up to get Escape Artist, which is pretty necessary in my opinion. And then his throwing stats are pretty good, but they're not, like, insane. And we also have got Career Tribute Eli Manning coming into the game tomorrow. So, yes, in LTD, Eli Manning, 72 speed, 
But here are his throwing stats though. 95 throw power, 97 short, 94 medium, 93 deep with a 95 throw under pressure, 82 throw on the run, and 94 play action. That's pretty dang good. That's the type of throwing stats I was hoping to see on that Aaron Rodgers card. But of course, Eli can't scramble. He only has a 72 speed. He's not going to get a skate flourish with his art type. So that's a little bit unfortunate there. But if you are the type of person that actually likes to use a pocket QB, which I'm going to be honest here this year, to me, I don't really see it. I, I don't really see it as possible. Like the passers are just too dang good this year to not have a quarterback with a skate artist. But Eli looks really good. Like for Giants fans, if you happen to you know want Eli Manning or have a Giants theme team, this is a very very good QB. So tomorrow, of course, we got Aaron Rodgers coming to the game, Von Miller coming to the game as well. Both those guys are set legends and Eli Manning career tribute. So let me know what you guys think about them down below, but let's get into my Mutt Rewards. So those are the legends that we have coming out tomorrow and of course Eli Manning. Now just to give you guys a quick little update as to the market because obviously some people know they're coming out. Aaron Rodgers, you guys can see, is currently going for about 168k. Now you already know that I did invest quite a bit into Von Miller. The fact that he's not better than Cleo Mack, honestly, I'm not sure that's going to affect his price. You can see he's currently at about 257k, and there's actually a decent amount of Von Millers up on the auction block course. I'm going to hold on to my Von. The thing that really determines how good or how how high this price will really get is basically is the card really good? It's basically Khalil Mack, okay? It's literally Khalil Mack. Uh, just a few select changes in between him. And if you take a look here at Khalil Mack's price, and of course, uh, basically with the Series 1 Masters, you have to pull Von Miller. So that definitely will help out his price terms of it going up. And how expensive is the 95 Von going to be? That will definitely change exactly how much that Von Miller card is going to sell for. But you guys can see Khalil Mack currently getting sold for around 645 Looks like someone listed up their Khalil Mack for 650 Probably a good move because, like I said, Von Miller is the same exact card if you happen to have Von Miller as well. But we do have my Mutt Rewards to go ahead and get into. So we have the Legendary tier of the Mutt Rewards. You guys can go ahead and log on and see exactly what you got. For Legendary, of course, you have 1,000 packs open. You get four Super Bowl packs. Go ahead and sign up if you're not already at MuttRewards.com in case you happen to not have these packs already. But we do have four Super Bowl packs to get into. So let's see if we can actually get a little bit lucky here. And let's see. Can we get some good? We get 86 Eli Manning. By the way, career tribute Eli coming tomorrow. Who wants to bet that I don't pull him? <laughs> I guarantee I don't pull him. I'm going to do a big pack for you guys in the morning, of course, uh, with the legend packs coming out. And then, obviously, I'll also do is the 88 Frank Gore, not bad, and an 84 overall Sean Williams. I'm not sure why the servers have been so bad today, but you can see, like, the, the pack art is just not loading at all. I will say... I'm going to do that pack opening, and then that morning video I did this morning gets to 2,500 likes. I'll also do a Super Bowl bundle for you guys tomorrow as well as I get 88 Frank Gore again. And my final Super Bowl pack with my Mutt Rewards is going to be, give me someone good. We get 82 overall, Russell. That definitely was not too good. But let's go ahead and get into a couple more packs. Here, do some Super Bowl packs. And then I'll also do some of these Super Bowl packs with training as well. Just to see if we can get a little bit more luck. Here's again, 82 overall, Russell again. Just, just not good at all. I know earlier I did the 82 plus overall Super Bowl Pass player packs. I did like 50 of these packs for a video. If you guys haven't seen it already, definitely check it out. I wanted to test it out and see if they were good. And I realized that I don't know how to say this man's name. Is it, How do you say Russell? Is it Russell Wokong? I'm pretty sure it's Russell Wokong, but every time that I say someone's name, I tend to mess it up. And then you guys tell me like three different ways to say it in the comments, and I never know. There's just certain players that I just don't know how to say it. As I get 84 overall Chris Hogan right there. Also, fun fact that someone told me about him, he played lacrosse. I did not know that either. <laughs> Definitely did not know that. But let me know down below what you guys think about the legends that we're getting. Because we had 90 overall Robert Alford there. Interesting thing is, of course, Steve Young. I did a gameplay with him. He definitely seemed pretty dang good from the gameplay. They're throwing us a lot of quarterbacks. Keep in mind, we do have Lamar Jackson coming up, who's going to be getting an NFL honors card. Going to be getting like an MVP. And then, of course, we also have Michael Vick. Don't forget about Michael Vick because he should be getting an upgrade pretty soon after the Super Bowl with Ultimate Legends. He tends to be, like, the first Ultimate Legend. You got 92 overall John Johnson right there. Okay, well, I'm going to cover more of these packs here. They're going to be pretty good like that. But he does usually tend to be one of the first Ultimate Legend cards action gamers. So these packs are hot right now. Okay, let's see if we can get back over 100,000 training. I'd appreciate that a lot. 
He does be pretty good though. Uh, maybe he'll have very, very similar stats to Lamar Jackson. That, that's kind of the one thing that I don't really know, trying to decide on if I want to buy Lamar Jackson when he gets that LTD, because I'm guessing 98 overall Lamar is gonna 95 Adam Timmerman. Okay. I think that's where we're gonna have to end off here with a 95 overall Adam Timmerman poll. That was pretty dang good. Not bad at all, and in my opinion, probably the second best right guard in the game behind, say, Zach Martin. Compare him here to Larry Allen, though. You know, pretty fair comparison, pretty close comparison is what it is there. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the vid, and of course, hit that sub button down below. Make sure you guys check out all my videos that I upload throughout the day, because I did do, this will be my fourth video of the day. Did a gameplay, did a pack opening, did a content review in the morning. Definitely make sure you guys check them on in case you have missed any. And let me know what you think about the Legends coming out tomorrow. I'll see you guys at 10.30 a.m. or around 11 a.m., I suppose, with a video opening up some Patch of New Legends. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.